Words appear. ADA National Network. Information, guidance, and training on the Americans with Disabilities Act by DIPTAC. Now, July 26, 1990. This historic act is the world's first comprehensive declaration of equality for people with disabilities. President first, George H.W. Bush signed the Americans with Disabilities Act. My pen to sign this Americans with Disability Act and say, let the shameful wall of exclusion finally come tumbling down. God bless you all. Congressman James Langevin. I really believe that people with disabilities are the greatest untapped resource in this country today. The ADA has given us the right to travel the sidewalks. John Kelly. And streetscapes of our country. The ADA was the critical linchpin of uh, you know, changing things. And, and Bill Lichtenstein. Using it to try to create these kinds of changes. ADA's done just fantastic things with people that are blind, people in wheelchairs, getting up public transportation. Dr. Temple Grandin. Now in photos, a father pushes his son in a wheelchair and an elderly couple sits by the shore. Words appear in all types of activities every day for our entire lives. The ADA provides civil rights protection to individuals with disabilities. Tom McCarthy, director of Massachusetts Universal Access Program. The big thing that I see is in transportation for me, being able to travel around the country independently in a power wheelchair to just about any city in the country is definitely a factor of the ADA. People with disabilities are out and about. Kathy Gibbs, New England ADA Center. Out and about is because the ADA required that um, transportation providers make their services, make their transportation accessible. No one would have installed curb cuts if it weren't for people with disabilities. John Kelly. Now everyone uses them. The transportation systems are getting more and more comfortable, you know, working with people with disabilities. Tom McCarthy. Just, you know, I've just seen huge changes in that area. Because it doesn't do uh, a person with a disability much good if they can apply for a job and they get the job if they can't actually get to work. Congressman James Langevin. Now a nurse with a missing forearm takes a patient's blood pressure. A woman in a motorized wheelchair rides up a ramp. Janet Lebrecht, Massachusetts Commission for the Blind. We have more technology today. Everything from not only uh, desktop electronic magnifiers, but we now have pocket magnifiers that are electronic and allow us to be mobile with those types of uh, magnification devices. Dr. Temple Where, Grandin. Uh, some of the assistive technology could be really helpful is with some of the uh, nonverbal people with autism. Some of these people do have a good brain in there. They can learn to type independently. Now many movie theaters have open captions. Sharon so Harrison signs. A movie on opening day just like uh, hearing individuals can. When I go to a hotel, I have a visible fire alarm if there were to be a fire. They have the equipment there that makes it accessible for me, uh, like alarm clocks that vibrate, TTYs. Sharon Harrison, Massachusetts Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Now a boy plays hockey on a sled. Another boy uses a cane in school. Congressman James Langevin, Democrat, Rhode Island. You know, I know that people with disabilities want to go to work. You know, they want to feel the pride of earning a paycheck and they have talents that uh, they can contribute. Particularly for the blind community, we experience about a 70% unemployment rate. Janet Lebrecht. Compared to the rest of society. If people want a new job, uh, they can get an interpreter for the interview and be able to secure that job. Sharon so Harrison signs. The Disabilities Act has impacted deaf people's lives in a variety of ways. The ADA Amendments Act is really about bringing down barriers and providing people with disabilities uh, not only access to accommodations and public buildings and stuff, but access to opportunities. I think the biggest struggle of people dealing with mental health issues is um, is to have the public acknowledge uh, that, that they are discriminated against, uh, that it is a disability and they do face discrimination. When people that have a hidden disability, uh, they're going to need accommodations like being away from fluorescent lights, have a quiet place to work. Those are two really important accommodations, and those are usually easy to do. We have so many uh, veterans who have been wounded in combat uh, now coming home and are going to need the, the proper support so that they can enter the workforce. A military officer in a wheelchair makes a speech. Two men with prosthetic legs sit beside a man in a wheelchair. President of Lichtenstein Creative Media, Bill Lichtenstein. It would be my hope that people use the act to continue to achieve the basic rights 
that they're entitled to, that everybody has and that everybody wants. And the younger generation definitely needs to know what their rights are, but also to take that responsibility. Marie Trottier, Harvard. Now in moving this forward. And it's really only now, 20 years after the ADA, that people have a full complement of resources. Disability in general is an equal opportunity condition. Janet LeBrun. And that the longer we live, the older we get, each one of us has the opportunity to acquire a disability. I may be the, uh, uh, the first quadriplegic to serve in the United States Congress, but I most certainly won't be the last. ADA has certainly provided uh, a great vehicle. James Langevin. For people with disabilities to succeed. Hopefully in the next 10 to 20 years, we'll make that much more progress. Marie Trottier. Words appear. Now more than ever, the ADA matters. The ADA National Network is here for you. Find out how we can help. In a photo, a woman wears a camouflage army helmet. In slow motion, an adaptive snow sled team crosses the finish line, winning the race. The sled rider raises her arms in victory. Fade to black. Learn more about your rights or obligations under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Call 1-800-949-4232, voice slash TTY. Visit our website at www.adata.org. This presentation is funded by the Department of Education through the National Institute on Disability and Rehabilitation Research. Filmed at the Institute for Human Centered Design, Boston. Produced by Clever Mountain Studios. This program has been described by the Media Access Group at WGBH.